hello guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will understand failover which is from basics of system design let's assume that uh, there are a bunch of people who are present and uh, we are using a service so these users are sending request and the request is routed through an api server so all the requests sent by these users will first be hitting the api server and uh, this api server will be uh, routing the request to the particular processing unit so let's say something has to be processed and it will be sent to the processing unit and then the result will be given back uh, to the users right so this is a normal flow now due to some reason maybe uh, this processing unit can come down or it can crash and in that situation actually none of the request from the users will be served so what happens in this case is the service is down so this is a big problem because uh, your system is not available at this very moment now in this particular situation what we can think is we can apply some backup processing unit so let's say we have put another backup processing unit which is waiting right which is on a standby so as soon as this processing unit is down maybe the request will be routed to the waiting processing unit and hence the end users will not see the effect of the processor going down and the users will just think that your application is continuously working and hence your application is available therefore if you do not have any backup then actually your availability will be low but if you add backup servers or backup processing unit then your availability will be increased right therefore you can see that we are adding backup to handle the failure situation so this is the idea which is called failover in formal definition we will call failover is the transfer of workload from a primary system to a secondary system in the event of a failure of the primary system let's take another example this is the entire diagram of whatever we discussed so these are the end users who are sending their request to the api server api servers request goes through possibly the load balancer or a router and uh, this will actually send the request to the initial primary processing unit if the processing unit is down then this load balancer will transfer all the requests to the backup processing unit in this way the end users will not get affected and this technique is known as idle standby of handling the failover so you can handle failover using two techniques one of these is the idle standby in this case this backup will keep on waiting will be in idle state it will not do anything unless and until the main primary system is down right so you can think like uh, it is it is waiting so the resources have been allocated but they are not at work and they will start working only when uh, the failure happens in the primary system right so you can think like we are wasting the resources here right but this maintains safety now let us look at another technique where we will try to utilize the resources better what change will we do is what if uh, we add multiple servers but actually all of them are the primary units right so in this case if the end user sends their request to the api server it goes through the load balancer and then the load balancer will route it to one of these processing units depending on how much load they are handling let's say that processing unit p1 comes down in this case whatever request were getting handled or even being sent to p1 will now be routed to either p2 or p3 we can simply maintain a hash table and say if the primary unit is let's say p1 then what will be the secondary unit in this case we are assigning p1 secondary will be p2 p2 secondary is p3 p3 secondary is p1 so all of these units are primary units but they act as secondary for another primary unit in such a way that if p1 is down then all its request will be routed to p2 if p2 is down all its request will be routed to p3 and in case of failure of p3 it will be routed to p1 so in this kind of arrangement what we are trying to achieve is i mean you have uh, somebody who can handle uh, the request if you are going down and also you are not wasting resources by sitting idly right so this is kind of optimizing the wastage of resources as we saw in the previous technique of idle standby and this technique is known as the mutual takeover so these are the two popular techniques which are used the mutual takeover can lead to cascading failures which we will see in our next video i would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dose 
and system design which is design dose if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in i hope this video was helpful subscribe to our channel for more system design videos see you guys in the next video thank you